we're here inside Straight USA Armoring, and this is Eric Carlson. Eric, thank you for letting me come in and take a tour of your facility. Thanks for coming I really today, appreciate Pam. it. Eric, take me through the steps that you would go through. Typically, if I was a client and I was buying, purchasing an armored vehicle. Sure, Pam. Um, well, I'd like to let you know that we moved into this facility in September of 2012. Previously, we were at a facility for five years on Fane Street in North Charleston. Uh, we went from 30,000 square feet into 75,000 now. We have uh, seven production lines and we have the capacity to do 70 vehicles a month out of this facility. Wow, it's a very impressive facility. It's actually very clean too. I was really, really Thank you. I, I pride myself and so do all the employees on keeping it clean. I, I've come from a background where um, you just don't clean up for when the customer comes. You keep it clean. It's a safe work environment and a clean work environment. Got it. All right, so how does this magic actually take place? Well, we'll bring a car in from uh, an OEM manufacturer, say uh, like a Mercedes-Benz S550 that's behind us. Right. Uh, we buy a brand new. Uh, we'll bring it in here and we will strip it completely down. There'll be nothing in the vehicle at all. Wow, everything's gone. Everything's gone. All electronics, uh, the dashboard, the uh, um, sun visors, everything is completely taken out. Okay. And then we'll start the process where uh, we'll fit the uh, ballistic steel mm -hmm. in, in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then it goes through a 10 stage process here. Um, we have 10 stages. Uh, we do uh, lean manufacturing, Six Sigma and 5S here. Uh -huh. uh, so Which uh, are the standards? The standards, okay. right. And recently we just became ISO 9000 2008 certified. Oh, so okay. that's uh, for standards around the world, uh -huh. uh, our quality standards. Okay, Eric, so there are 10 processes or 10 stages to go through in That's this correct. process, That's right? That's correct, ma'am. Could you take us through those? Sure, then? absolutely. Uh, before we start the process, though, there's a pre-inspection of the vehicles. Oh, uh, we okay. bring them in the receiving over here. Uh -huh. um, quality control comes out and they check the vehicle. Even though it's brand new and it comes from the dealer, we got to make Just a normal vehicle. Normal vehicle. Okay. We need to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Oh. So we do a thorough inspection prior to us disassembling it uh, all the way down to the temperature of the AC to make sure when we ship it back out, it's the same temperature. Wow, okay. And then you go to, that's step one, and the, then you go? We actually go to stage one then. And that's oh, where, stage one, okay, Stage one, yeah, oh. and that's where we'll bring the vehicle in and we'll start the process. Uh, the first thing they'll do is they'll put a substance over the vehicle, and uh -huh. um, it's a, like a lubricant that'll make uh, cleaning afterwards a little bit easier. Uh -huh. And then we put a protective film over the hull vehicle uh, for any grinding or weld splatter, because when we're taking the vehicle through the hull process, there's grinding and welding, maybe Got not it. in that stage, but in another stage, so we wanna make sure the car is protected. The, the paint from the, the, paint the, oh, well, from the okay. outside, correct. And then we start to disassemble. Uh, we'll take everything out of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is logged. Uh, we put them in the containers, and the containers are locked. Yep. Uh -huh. And uh, what we'll do is log everything that goes in that for, off of that vehicle, mm -hmm. and, and then the supervisors log it in, and they lock it up. And then in stage five, when we go to reassemble, they'll unlock it and sign the, all the parts back out to the employees. Put it back together. And put it back together. Correct. Armored. Wow. Okay. Very impressive. And the next stage is stage two. Uh -huh. uh, what we do is uh, they'll pre-assemble all the ballistic steel that's gonna go in the vehicle. Uh, we have it laser cut on our laser machine. Uh -huh. uh, we put it on stands so it's easier for the employees to take. And it, more or less, I, I used to tell people, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. They, right. need, they need to put it together and uh, the steel is marked. There's a heat number on there, we track that. Uh, we use an overlap system, so the steel will be overlapped for ballistic integrity and then weld it, because if you just butt the steel up and weld, uh -huh. a bullet could penetrate a weak, a weak spot through the steel. I understand. So right. it's overlapped, uh, but in stage two, they're just doing the fitting. And then it goes to stage three, uh -huh. uh, they'll fit the floor and the roof, Stage four will be final weld. Uh -huh. That's where all the welders uh, get in there and they'll start the process of finish welding the vehicle out. 
Okay, Eric, we're moving on to stage four, and you said it was welding, right? Correct. In stage four, that's where we do the finish welding. Uh, prior to stage four, the doors are taken off, and they're armored at while the other employees are doing stage one through four. Oh, okay. uh, At stage four, they'll do the finish welding, and they'll also put the doors back on, and they'll do overlaps, we call them bullet catchers, that where uh, a bullet can't penetrate the compartment, they'll do an overlap around the door inside. Right, that's that, that's that thing you were talking about that protects, protects it. Okay. Right, so if it's on an angle, a bullet can't penetrate oh, in, wow. into the cab area. Stage five, what they'll do is we uh, take it into the spray booth, <laughs> we prime the inside of it, uh, all the steel's primed so it doesn't rust, and then it's brought back out of the spray booth and put in stage five, uh -huh. and then that's when they start putting all the electronics back into the vehicle and start laying out where all the wiring will go um, and start assembling the uh, dashboard, the air conditioning units in the back, all, all the technical stuff will be start putting back together in stage five. So you actually are armoring everything around, even around the radio and... Correct, wow. absolutely. Wow, okay. Yep. And prior to them installing that, uh, we put vinyl mm -hmm. around the overlaps. So it looks like an OEM feature because you have leather throughout the car. We put a leather vinyl around the overlaps. Got so it. then when they put it back together, it looks when you open the door uh, later on on the tour, we'll show you a vehicle that's armored and see if you can tell the difference of it. Those little details make all the difference, Correct. I'm sure. Absolutely. Right. Great, thank you. Sure. And then we move on to stage six. Stage six, uh, it's still uh, uh, putting putting back together the assembly part of it. Right. Um, that's where uh, the plastic section will get in. They'll start putting uh, all the plastics back in the vehicle. Uh, we plastics have, meaning? Um, the door panels, the okay. headliners. Uh, in, in a Suburban, for instance, the whole back, uh, your back of your vehicle has plastics around the quarter panels and right. all that. Okay. They'll start putting that into, into the vehicle at that time. Um, that procedure takes a little long because uh, everything needs to be hand cut. It's a precision because when we're adding the ballistic steel and you just can't put the OEM parts back in, they all need to be trimmed down. Okay, got so it. So it's more that or less a hand, right. a hand a made hand trimming, hand trimming right. of, the, right. of the plastics to be put back into the vehicle. And each step is it, it seems to me like each step is not necessarily the same amount of time. Some no, sta some, stages some stages are a little bit quicker. Right. Uh, we, se we set it up though, uh, that's why we have a stage six and seven where uh, putting it back together is a little bit longer. So that's why we have two stages there for, for that process there. Okay. But normally it's a day in each stage. We have two employees in each stage, um, just in case if someone calls out, they have a backup that someone can come in there. So we right. have two employees in each stage that you know work in that stage consistently and do the same thing over and over again to get good at it, to help one quality and production time. Right, okay. Okay, so what happens in stage seven? Stage seven is uh, where the, they're gonna start uh, putting the ballistic glass in. Uh, oh, okay. There's a ballistic glass that goes in these vehicles. Uh, it'll range from 39 millimeters all the way up to 72 millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. uh, it can weigh 150 pounds up to 500 pounds. Uh, so we have a machine that'll lift uh, the windshield glass in, in its place. Uh, it's suction cupped and they'll put that in. So they'll start assembling okay. and putting the glass in stage seven. I was amazed out actually seeing it in the lobby that you, you can really see very well through the glass. Yes, the glass is very optical. Yeah. Uh, they use a low iron glass in there because of the thickness, so you get better optics that you can see through. There is a little distortion, but uh, that would be typical because of the thickness of glass. Okay. Then, then we move to stage eight, that's final assembly. That's where we put the hull front end back on the vehicle mm -hmm. because that's all taken off. Uh, it's easier to work on the vehicle on the production line without the fenders and hood on there. Oh, okay. Um, so we'll do a final assembly there. Uh, everything is, is put back on the vehicle. 
Uh, prior to putting the hood and the fenders on, uh, we have a department that makes uh, the ballistic battery protection and ECM boxes. Uh, we'll show you that later. Oh, wow. So in case the battery, the battery gets, gets shot. shot, the vehicle doesn't stop or the computer, because if the computer's shot out, right. it will stop. <laughs> we know so that. that's pre-made uh, prior, and then they'll assemble that and put that in on stage eight also. Wow, so many things I didn't I didn't even realize. Right, and then and then after that it moves to stage nine. Uh -huh. uh, we call that gas tank protection, but it's also under armoring Very because good. that okay. needs to be done. So it goes sense. to stage nine and it's put up on a lift, uh -huh. and employees can work underneath the car safely on, on a hydraulic lift. Uh -huh. uh, if they just need a gas tank protection, they'll put that on. Some vehicles get a full ballistic shield underneath. So at that time, they'll put that ballistic shield on that, in that stage two and stage nine. Got it, so it's pr protected underneath? Underneath sides, the bleed, sides, sides, everything. Correct, okay. it, they're normally protected to two hand, uh, two hand grenades going off at the same time. Wow. All right. And then the, uh, after stage nine, it goes to the final, which is quality insurance. We have our own stage for that, give the uh, quality team a day to go over everything that was uh, done on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, However, during the stages, there's a sign off for quality. Uh, every stage needs to be signed off by quality control before it moves on to stage 10. Oh, I see, so it doesn't move It doesn't pass, move past the stage. Right, if quality hasn't, sta uh, hasn't signed off on that, That's it great. doesn't move on. But uh, they'll do a comprehensive inspection in 10. Mm -hmm. And as, as I explained, when we receive the car in 10, now they're doing a delivery inspection. They'll make sure the air condition is, is right running at the same temperature, everything is fit form uh, the way it was when it came in from the OEM manufacturer. Right, now I kind of figured out how long I think it might take to go through the whole process, but... Typically it takes uh, 10 business days, uh -huh. two weeks, uh, depending on the threat level and what we're armoring. Uh, certain vehicles uh, will take a little bit longer if we have to put a communications package in there. Uh -huh. So in stage six where we did electronics, it might take an extra day or so because we're adding different electronics for different government agencies, so it takes a little bit longer. So anywhere between two weeks to four weeks is uh, a time to complete, a, complete an armored vehicle. Eric, this has been amazingly fascinating. Thank you for taking me on a tour. I really appreciate that. And you know, one thing I was really impressed with is that the vehicle looks like a normal vehicle when it comes out of here. You can't really tell the difference between the two. So uh, that was really fascinating. Thank you again. Thanks for coming, Pam.